Hi, in the following video, we're going to look at the page settings for the flow theme settings area with the VG theme. Now, this uh, settings area is pretty simple. In the introduction area here, we will have all of the videos describing the different types of page templates that you can use. If you need to review those, um, you can have a look at the videos in this introduction section. Now to get here, you'll go to flow themes pages. And then as mentioned, you'll have the introduction section with videos. You'll have a miscellaneous tab. And this is gonna let you choose the layout for the page, whether that's with a left sidebar, a right sidebar, and or full width. And if you choose left or right sidebar, you can choose one of the sidebar areas. And then whenever a new page is created, it will of course then uh, add the sidebar to it. Now, it doesn't update the existing pages, only new pages. You'll also have the option to update the style for the title font, and you can use any of the existing styles from the typography settings area, H1386, and all the other styling options as well. I would recommend using a header style, uh, H1386 for this, um, or heading one to heading six, as they're set up specifically for titles. The other options you will have then is the search page, and in here you will have uh, the option to assign the title for the search page. So you see search page title, and it will say search results for, and hashtag will be the keyword. So if you wanted to update the title uh, for the search page, you could do that, and that would just be at the very top. And that's if you only have a search icon on your page. If not, this is kind of irrelevant. You have the option for the search page layout, and that will be one of the listing type views. So single list, um, another single list view, 50-50 uh, split, three columns, and three column masonry. You will also have some further options for, uh, depending on which option you choose, of course. Uh, you can choose then the different uh, number of columns, the gap between the images. And again, that will be different depending on which layout option you choose. There will be different settings for that. And you'll see these down just below. Some of them will have mobile settings and most of them will just have the uh, specific settings here with the columns and gaps. And if you want masonry, you can enable it for this specific block. You'll also have the options to update the titles. If you want to display the categories, if you would like to have an overlay on the image and the colors for that, and if you want the decorative icons, you can also show that as well. So just a few little options here. Uh, again, this is for the search listing page. If you wanted to update that, and give yourself a slightly different view type to the search. I would recommend using uh, the same view that you use for your listing page for your blog um, for consistency. This will also go for the archive page. The exact same principle applies here. Choose the layout, make sure you set up uh, the settings the same as the other pages, you know, the search page and your uh, blog listing page. Set the number of columns, choose a masonry if you want it, display the categories, etc. There's no difference between this and the search page other than one you search on and the other is archive pages for things like categories. You know, found page, this is your 404 page. If someone can't find something on your site, you'll have a page title, you'll have a page description, and you'll have an option to have a link to the home page. So you can update the text for that and that's it. So if you wanna change the title, go ahead and update this first one, the description, go ahead and update that and so forth. So let's say if I, Put it in here, you'll see uh, the page that I'm talking about. Uh, let me just find a page here. And there you go, not found. We couldn't find what you're looking for. Check out our home page and it's a link. So you can just go ahead and update the text for that. And that's it. So pretty simple options and settings for the page settings area and the flow themes section. Uh, so go ahead, check them out and make any updates if you need them.